Its warm yellow glow, a beacon of hope and salvation, inviting the hungry, the lost, the seriously hammered all across the South to come inside, a place of safety and nourishment. It never closes. It is always, always faithful, always there for you. Ladies and gentlemen, your estimated time of arrival is 5.45 p.m. in Orlando, Florida. Current weather on the ground is 93 degrees. Enjoy your ride. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Elder God Podcast, episode 56. I am your host, as always, founder, co-producer of this podcast, Big Sam. Today, across from me, in the blue goofy shirt, is the one, the only... The living legend, the baddies call him Big Bad Thad. What's up, guys? You guys uh, ready for another exciting episode of the Elder God Podcast? Wait, Ryan? Ah, that's my Ryan impression. Uh, just kidding, guys. Uh, it's just me, Thad. Uh, no guests today. No guests. Uh, everyone's too busy on this Memorial Day out grilling, out having fun at the parades, and we are in the Thad Pad recording a podcast. Happy Memorial Day, if that's something that we can say honestly i kind of prefer veterans day is the palmer parade canceled today love those no that was actually going on okay i was taking out my tracks this morning and i saw him over there you should have gone to watch it yeah i was preoccupied i had to go to 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 the bathroom three times you're watching dumbo this morning adventure (laughs) time or whatever you're doing i almost watched dumbo well thad would you like to roll into the uh we have uh some stuff to this uh discuss today but before I get into that, I just want to let you guys know, you should always like and subscribe, please. I um, I appreciate it. Today's topics, we have two main ones here. First off, the Elder God is the one and only establishment Waffle House. Woo! If, 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 if I'm thinking, what, what? That's not a person. Doesn't have to be. Is there a specific rule set when it comes to Elder Gods? There is not. So Can I see the bylaws? Relax. We're also going to discuss yet another Florida Orlando trip. Pod does Florida 2. 3. <laughs> Pod does Florida 3. But we shall, uh, we'll get into that a little later. Because first off, we have to talk about today's sponsor. It's Waffle House. What do you think it's going to be? Shout out to Waffle Fist House. Up. Now, Waffle House, feel free to send us any merch, food, any sort of sponsorship. I was at work the other day, someone had a Waffle House t- uh, sweatshirt on, and I'm really thinking I gotta get a Waffle House shirt. And I have once again forgot to wear my Waffle House shirt. Oh, you have one already? Yeah, my sister got me one for Christmas. It's cool, it's white, it has Waffle House like on the you chest. You have a Waffle House shirt, you didn't wear it for the Waffle House episode? I, I forgot. Okay. I- again. Because I even mentioned it the other day, it was like, oh, I should have worn my Waffle House shirt just casually today. I didn't. It's okay, man. But Waffle House is great, but we're gonna get into Waffle House. Uh, let's get into a, a little, we have, we have some segments before we get to the Florida stuff, but, um, yeah, any housekeeping? Last episode we talked about Patrick Bateman, we had two great guests, uh, anything to say about that? I do have some housekeeping. Okay. One is a topic that you really were, I would say Thad rant last week. Okay. Friday, I think is when we discussed it. Do you know what I'm talking about? No, I don't. Well, it came up in the last episode as well, but just to be clear, we are not a food podcast, despite doing a whole podcast on the Waffle House. But McDonald's, they're starting to phase out the oh, fountain shit. drinks in the store. Thoughts? I think, I think it's beyond that. They, they want to give it a free refills. Which I think it's very dangerous. But Feel free to elaborate. Listen, here's what I was thinking. How often am I actually sitting down and eating at McDonald's? How many refills are you getting? It's true. I'm not really getting that. But I still think it's very dangerous for actual restaurants where I'm going to sit down. Yeah, they may get rid of free refills. And so does like sheep. It's like three cents or something. It's, it's sad. It's sad. Dark times are entering. But McDonald's is currently bringing back a, a cheap meal, I saw. A couple of restaurants are doing that, actually. They're bringing back cheap okay. meal. Okay. Did you look into that? I didn't look into it. Because I saw... I, I didn't either. But I saw that it said Burger King plans to roll theirs out right before McDonald's does. There's, there's, there's a couple others doing it. KFC's, I think, they're the one. They have to. They have to at this point. I'm thinking maybe... Here's a crazy crackpot theory here. That since COVID happened, this is all a bit that they raised the prices for like two or three years, and now they're gonna bring them back down, and act like it's been a deal. That makes more sense too. I could see that happening. And actually, we're gonna be mentioning McDonald's. We have two segments. More. Later. We're gonna talk about McDonald's. Okay. I don't. 
Oh, we do. <laughs> we have two two things to talk about. I only know the one. No, you know the no, other. No, I know oh, the two you, now. Yeah, I know, you know the two. The okay. Um, and in my other housekeeping, you know what that was? No, I have one more, but I'll let you go first. <laughs> Uh, last episode I mentioned the PAX East Enforcers probably do it for free. I found out they do get paid. Uh, it's minimum wage, though. So they may as well be doing it for well, free. Why would they do it for free? Oh, losers, maybe. Well, they, they are do it for losers. free. Working at PAX. Right, continue. Do you have a pair of scissors here? I do. Oh, here's something. We're recording at my counter for the first time. Oh, you, you saw this is currently taking something. Should I close my eyes? No. Yeah, it's an envelope. Like, he needs scissors to open, apparently. I got some mail that came to my house rather than the elder out office, which is probably why you didn't see it. Hmm. This came, I would say, maybe a month and a half ago, maybe two months ago. It might have been around the time of the last pod. But it came directly to me, but it is technically for us. Can I see the return address? No. Okay. But there's also no postmark on it, so I can't say for sure the date. But let me cut this open. I want to have a clean cut. Be careful. I get a picture. I'll get a picture. You can get a picture after, because you're gonna want to see the label. I'll get a pre. pre um, I wanted to. I'm seeing the label. It's like a big, big label. While he's opening that, I just want to excuse the fridge noise in the background. I know some some individual gets a little upset about fridges. That doesn't have a letter opener, so I have to do this. You didn't ask for a letter but opener. I don't have one either. You asked for a scissors. I, I, if you asked for my letter opener, I would have got up and got my letter opener. I'm sorry. Who came up with envelopes? Yeah, they're a freak. Like, oh yeah, you gotta, you gotta lick it to close it. Still, even in today's age, it's a standard to lick the envelope. Okay. So. I'm gonna pull this out. I don't know what's in here. What? <laughs> I hope there's something else. Wait, what is it? There is. An okay. An another envelope? There, I was hoping for a letter that was maybe addressed to us, but there is not. But Wait, I will now say, I will now read the note. It is a standard note, not personalized to me. Thank you for your recent message. Your kind words and support mean a great deal to me. Jimmy Carter. <laughs> and we have a 8 by 10 photo of Jimmy Carter that has a facsimile um, signature on it. But here we go. We got mail from Jimmy Carter, the office of former President Jimmy Carter. At the Carter Center in Atlanta, Georgia. Because Jimmy Carter is an ongoing piece of housekeeping on our podcast. I didn't know he listened. I didn't know he wanted us, we wanted him to die. Uh, he's been on hospice for over a year now. And is, is always in rough shape. And he heard about the podcast and, and reached out to me and his office, his people. Jimmy Carter didn't reach out to me. And here we are. He's entering his final stages, I've heard. Well, I heard that. I think before. he's, what, 98? He's 99. 99. So is he going to make it to 100? Who knows? Who knows? He's kind of like our tank. Tanaka, you know? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Jimmy Carter. Mm. Shout out. Shout out to you, Carter. We know you're listening. Oh, hopefully I get this out for the inevitable moment. Uh, I'm a little thirsty. Do you have a beverage or something? I do. I do. All right, go get that. Use any cups you want in there. Oh, please. Well, what am I going to find here? On the wrong cabinet. Nothing in there. Nothing they haven't seen already. You have to use a Waffle House one. Of course. Okay. And Kermit. Of course. Can I give a shout out to Kermit? How are you doing? Hold on. My mom just messaged me. Can you bring me a Coke Zero or Pepsi Zero when you come by later? Of course. I think I'll purchase one up. Close your eyes. Let this one up, Mama? Can you look at the drink? No. Yes, oh, no, don't look. I'm not looking. Okay. It's like juice of sort. All right, here we go. Cheers for Pierre's. Yeah. It's like pear juice? It feels like pear. Dad's drinking out of a Kermit cup, and I'm drinking out of that Waffle House mug. Mm, I like that. It does have a connection to this podcast theme. This is Florida's Natural. Uh, it's not Florida's Natural. Oh, okay. Well, there's some sort of... But you're getting close. Tropicana something. Tropicana. Tropicana. I'd never seen this before. Is that pear? It nope, but tastes like two pear. peas. Pepper. You're close. Hmm. Pineapple peach? Peachy pineapple. Oh. Tropicana. Shout outs to Adam the Woo in Tropicana Field, home of the Tampa Bay Rays. 
I like this. It does have a picture of apples on there too, so I assume apple is like the third fruit. I like it. In there. I give that, I give that a give that an A plus. And Tropicana was originally a Florida-based company, now owned by PepsiCo. Shout Oops. out to the Pepsi Max that Kanzi loves. Who made that? Uh, oh, Dole, Dole, the pineapple banana. Yes. Juice, yeah. I feel like now we get like fruit juice. It's always a banger. I think we did Florida's Natural when we did the waffles, the orange juice. So I didn't want to do that. I told my mom I'll grab Pepsi Zero. She goes, "Please remember." Why right. Pepsi? I don't know. Why please? Oh, she's, she's a really Coke Zero or Pepsi Zero. I guess she, she sounds desperate. I'll get you some. Like Debbie, here's a question for you. Yeah. Where did you purchase this? Big Y. <laughs> World class market. Interesting. You mentioned Big Y today. Ludlow. Ludlow Big Y. Interesting. I have a little rant about Big Y, if you don't mind. Go right ahead. <clears throat> I happen to be at the Big Y in Cheshire, Mass. Connecticut, excuse me. I think it was in Cheshire. but Yeah, it was near Cheshire still. And uh, I was actually with you, as a matter of fact. And I happened to use the restroom there. And it was disgusting. Someone peed all over the toilet paper roll, all over the sink, all over the floor, and no one's cleaning it up. How do you know it was urine? I'm a pee expert. I look at pee all day at work, so that is why. And uh, I'm just saying they could do better. Like, what's the deal big Y? Every time I'm there, I'm like, why? I didn't like the layout of that big Y. Me neither. Which reminds me. Small, odd layout. With the mention Cheshire. I had that written down. We'll get more into Cheshire at a later segment. Because I'm hungry, man. I am, I'm going to I'm going to tell you I picked this up at the World Fair Market. And who are you with? With Ryan, who's apparently, this weekend, he is simultaneously busy and around. So, take that as Didn't you Didn't he say the deadline was Sunday? It's Monday. So, mean, could close, he be around? Close your eyes, buddy. I'll put this on this flammable stove top. You did mention this is just a snack. Do you have other food for me to eat after this? I can make you a couple things. I'm going to tell you something. This is going to go up with our... Eh, maybe a little bit. Anyway, I want you to reach out in front of you and grab one. It's a plate here. <laughs> I grab something off the plate? Grab something off the plate. Right. Take <laughs> a bite. It's like a marshmallow. It is a marshmallow. Take a bite. It doesn't smell like anything. It just does over here. Come on, take a take look at that. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll let you look at the is snack. Is it filled? No. Can I look at it? it? You can look at the snack. This doesn't really help. It's like... Cr- Cream color, tan color. Mm-hmm. Maybe a hint. This is like a pineapple marshmallow? Very close. It's a peach marshmallow. Very close. Can I get another one? They're right in front of you, man. Hmm. This is a fruit that fits in that vibe. Of a marshmallow? Or this? Of, of like, you know, pineapple, peaches, that color. Like an apricot? No, no, no. Close, though. It's a marshmallow that has a little, like, jelly filling in the inside. Yeah. Hmm. It's tropical in the name. It's a specific fruit? Yes. Tropical blank marshmallow. I, like I think it. tropical. I think pineapple. I don't think peach. Coconut? It's not coconut. It's fruity. Banana? No, no, no. no. <clears throat> but the inside of this little jelly is, is like... Peach pineapple color. It's, it's, it's not a lady go. It's a. <laughs> uh, huh? It's a mango. Oh, mango. Yeah, put it there. But oh, that's not what it is. How did I miss that? Oh, it's not. It's tropical mango marshmallow. But there's one more thing to this snack that you're not gonna get. So I'm gonna reveal it. This is Hello Kitty tropical mango marshmallows. Um, pick this up. They're pretty good. They're very surprisingly good. And let's say there was maybe um, a lady go that was here that wanted some, and I had to kindly tell her, unfortunately, that's for my podcast that five people listen to. So, sorry. Ow. And these are American. Really? What? No, at the world class market. Oh, product of China. China? Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to have any more. I can put that away. Hello, kitty. Could this be the first time in 56 episodes that Hello Kitty gets a mention? It may be. Shout out to Hello Kitty. My mom loved Hello Kitty. 
Here's what I'm going to reveal you. There's also a couple other flavors. Did they have them there? Yes, they have a green tea no marshmallow, a chocolate marshmallow, a blueberry marshmallow, a strawberry marshmallow. Uh, I can't find any more, but... Um, I think you definitely picked the, the best one. Yeah, thank you. Anyway. You want to refill on your juice? I'm going in for some more. Yeah, I would I'd love some. Thank you. Is it true that Hello Kitty is a, is a girl dressed as a cat rather than an actual kitty? I haven't really looked much into the Hello Kitty lore, so I can't tell you. If Ryan was here, he would know. He wouldn't know. He if would. anything, actually, Kanzi might know. Also, know. Kanzi really sh- does fit as being on this podcast, but oh, we forgot he just kind of flaked him, oh, flaked on us over and over. Oh, you know, uh, well, well, I can't. Well, today, no, like ignored us. Kanzi, Kanzi will get. We're gonna Kanzi later. He's not here to defend Listen, himself. Listen, before we today. get into stories and stuff, we gotta go through media real quick. Oh, quick media. Oh, Can so I go talk first? about recent movies and you know you know, you know what media is. Oh, what do we got? What do we media. Do? It could be anything. Anything. Uh, let's see. So I am keeping track of movies that I watched this calendar year. Oh, copy to, me to kind of keep keep not just a list. I, I'm not rating them. I don't rate. I don't rate them till the end. I watched Uncle Buck, the John Candy movie. Mm-hmm. Great movie. And here's two that I really want to get into. Go ahead. Let's discuss Clear History, the Larry David movie. Did I mention it on this podcast? Yeah. I don't think you did. I love hey, that give, movie. Give a little background. It came in 2013? Yeah, something like that. It's a Kirby enthusiasm. In a different universe. Basically what it is. It's just Larry David made this movie. It's funny. John Hamm. John Hamm. Uh, Kate Hudson. Danny McBride. Uh, Leon. J.B. Smooth. Someone else big in there. Oh, Michael Keaton. Yep. Yeah, um, Hater. Bill, Bill Hater. Yeah, Bill Hater. It's really funny. It's a ridiculous movie. It's honestly curb level. I would say that's the curb movie. If there was a curb movie, that would be it. But we're not gonna get a curb movie. But it's not a curb movie. Let's make that clear. It's it's it has a vibe it's the same curb. vibe, but it's not the same story, it's not the same characters. It's not. But it's some of the same act actors and, and actresses. It's the same type of same style humor. style. There we go. It's really good though. It's about a guy who works for this car company that make these new electric vehicles. I don't remember the name of the company, but they were coming out with this little like smart car level electric car, and this guy Nate, Nathan, Field. no, not Nate Fisher, was Nathan Field though. Yeah. This guy Nathan, he's he was working in the marketing. He was like the marketing guy for this car company, and the the owner decides he's going to name the car after his son Howard. The cars are going to be the Howards, <laughs> and the, the car was going to be like take over the world in uh, the new wave of electric vehicles. And uh, Nate had a big, not our Nate, shout out to Nate, had a big fit about the name, left the company, lost billions of dollars because the car exploded, but he went and had his own, like, start a whole new life in uh, Martha's Vineyard, mm-hmm. and it goes from there. I don't want to spoil the movie, but... It's really, I would give it a watch. It's hilarious. If you love Curb and if you love Seinfeld, you'll love the movie, man. It's that simple. It's true. It's true. It's true. You'll love the movie. Go watch it. Yeah. I've got another movie. Go ahead. Which I don't think you watched. But you need to watch. Okay. It's not as good. And it, honestly, I expected a little more, but I still enjoyed it. Unfrosted. I'm going to watch it. The Jerry... Why, why aren't you going to watch it? The Jerry Seinfeld movie. <laughs> I saw a review of that movie. It looked horrible. <laughs> We're going to maybe. You're, you're not... Well, let's make this clear. You're not going to watch it. But this morning, he had nothing to do. He goes, maybe I'll watch Dumbo. Well, i got to watch every Disney movie, which we'll get into soon. But watch Unfrosted. You won't... Yeah, you really won't like it. But it's a, it's a fun, stupid movie. I heard... I I saw a review. I, I didn't know the vibe, but go go into it. You know the you read a review. I watched it. You know, well, just watch the movie. Why mess? It's a fun movie. Okay, what happened is it? I don't want to tell you, but it's the story of the Pop Tart. Kellogg's, right? He's the president of Kellogg's. He's. It's like uh, the whole movie is the Kellogg's versus um, post rivalry. Oh, okay. oh, post. Yes, but I mean Tony the Tiger is in it. it. It's a good movie. No. I would say it's good. It's not a great movie. It's a fun little, you know. Nothing, nothing to do. Let's put something fun on. Uh, Amy Schumer is in it. I'm not crazy about Amy Schumer, though. Same with Melissa McCarthy. I'm not crazy about her. She's funny. I don't like any Amy Schumer, though. I, honestly, I, I'm a little surprised that Jerry Seinfeld thought they were both that funny, that they were going to be in those spots Maybe in the movie. Maybe he couldn't afford anybody else. Maybe. But there are a lot of other funny people in the movie. Larry like David was making the movie. Oh, we would everybody. But there's a lot of, you know, you'll recognize somebody. It's, it's a fun movie. Man, I, pop- I used to eat a Pop-Tart every day for breakfast. Well, also, Pop-Tarts is an ongoing theme of this podcast. podcast. 
then once I started losing like my diet, my gym, I had to cut pop tarts out. So I haven't had a pop tart in a very long but time. But the Domino's, Domino's is okay. Domino's is cheap. Listen, I got two pizza sticks for ten dollars. Guess so what? That fed me the whole weekend. It's good. You have any left? I ate it all, man. You didn't share. Nope, I did not. But I'm not a cereal person whatsoever. But watching this movie. That you cr- crave me getting cereal, and that's why I bought cereal the other day. We didn't even buy Kellogg's cereal, but I didn't. Walmart brands. I did. It's not a pain. I I'm not paying cereal. seven dollars for cereal. You paid mine. Ah, give it. Can I have some? I ate it. <laughs> okay. Now, <laughs> not only is Domino's feeding him, I'm feeding him. But yeah, I think that's all I've got for media. Listen, my house, uh, my media, media mania. Watch a movie. The movie just came out. What is it gonna be? Any guesses? You went to the movies. I went to the movies. When? Um, the Monday we got back, after we got back. Oh, we talked about this the other day. I, I don't remember what the movie was. I didn't tell you which movie it was. Oh, go ahead. I watched Challengers. I don't know what that is. Challengers. I can, uh, starring Zendaya and two other guys, Mike Faced and Josh O'Connor. Not Johnny O'Connor, Josh O'Connor. Any relation? I didn't get that far, but I would hope so. It is a romance sports movie. Now, you know what you're thinking. Odd. Especially for you. Especially for me. Well, not not too odd. But this movie blew my balls off. What kind of sport? Tennis. Oh, that's why I didn't hear about it's it. It's a tennis movie. And basically, it's about a girl who meets two guys in college. No, I can't, let me tell you. It's about two guys who meet a girl in college. They both want her. Only one gets can get her, though. And they both love tennis. They both become pros in tennis. There's a lot of falls. There's a lot of rising actions. There's a lot of... Falling moments. It's a really good movie. Real tennis or Wii tennis? Real tennis. Okay. And let me tell you, I was watching him play tennis on the screen. I, it kind of makes me want to pick up a racket. Not going to lie. You can, see me, I, I, you can see me playing tennis, right? I didn't see you rock climbing, but I guess you could probably play tennis, too. Okay, the rock climbing. Don't worry, Kanzi. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't, didn't even hear that movie. No, it was really good, though. It was a lot of cool shots with the camera. There was one scene... It was like the final match, and like they had the camera. I don't know how it is, but the camera was the te- it was the tennis ball's point of view, going across the thing. It was insane. They put a GoPro on the on the ball. Hey, maybe, and they somehow didn't smash the lens. You can tell Tony that, and Tony would believe it. No, it's a really good movie. It's more than it's more than expected. I you know you were curious. Sea World does allow GoPros on their coasters. They don't. Do they it. do. Interesting. I don't know. Did Disney allow that? Everyone does it. Disney does not. They sneak them. That's why Adam the Woo's got the pass. He's going to review some coasters. You have to get a pass to do it. No, he, he has the season pass, but any anybody oh. can use it. Well, here we go. Speaking of Disney, it's time to go to my Disney tier list. I'm watching every Disney movie. I miss Thad's Meals. I did not watch Dumbo. Uh, you don't like Disney's tier list? Not as good as Thad's list, the meal list, but well, continue. I'll come up with something better next year, Tony. We may, we may still be doing this next year. I only added two new movies to this list. Uh, we'll go from the bottom. We've got Chicken Little, Pinocchio, Little Mermaid, Fox and the Hound, Sleeping Beauty. And then a new entry. I watched last night. Any guesses? I couldn't guess when you no, sent no. us a couple pictures. I watched The Sword in the Stone. Interesting movie. It's about a little boy who meets Merlin. And Merlin doesn't know why. He's a wizard, right? Yes. He, Merlin does not okay. know why. I spell Merlin. M E R L I N. Okay, not M U R R. No, I don't okay. know, unfortunately. Honestly, I wonder if this art exists as Mer as Merlin. It has to be. If Ryan, not, get on it. I can com- I can commission somebody. But uh, it's about a little boy who meets Merlin, and Merlin does not know why, but he knows his boy is for great things, and so he has to. He trains him in the ways to become a resounding citizen. Uh, he has. He lives in a little family, whatever. They go on little adventures. Not really, just lessons. There's an owl who talks. Um, there's some very horny female squirrels that want to um, mate with them. Um, a little odd scene. They, they, they were they turned into squirrels. I should probably th- this is that stone at Disney World with the yes. with the sword that people try to pull it out. Yes, yeah, so that, that's a photo op thing, right? It doesn't actually come out. It does actually come out. Oh, well, it doesn't come out the way, but you can lift it. Do you have to be super strong to do it? Like- no, it's like a certain timing. It like unlocks. Okay. I, I've been told that if you look at a certain building and if it lights up, that and you can lift it. Who told you that? The Disney insiders. Cast members? The influencers. Who are influencers? Not for Disney. You think so. You're the one drinking out of the Kermit cup. <laughs> and a di- goofy shirt. Have a goofy shirt, Kermit cup. I'm talking about Disney movies. Oh, fuck me. Uh, but no, it was an okay movie. 
plot didn't really make sense. Oh yeah, and then again, he spoiler, he gets a sword, he becomes king. Uh, and then we got Beauty and the Beast, Peter Pan, Rest of the Cat, Jungle Book, Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, Hercules. Number one is Hunchback and Notre Dame, but what is number two? The Lion King. I've never seen The Lion King. This is my first time watching The Lion King. Shout out to Simba. Shout out to Simba. It was actually a pretty damn good movie. I liked it. Well, it made me chew up a little bit. Uh, shout out to Pomone. Shout out to Timba. Wait, Timon. What's this guy? What's the little weasel's name? Timon. Timon and Pumba. Pumba's the. Hey, Pumba. Akuma, Akuma Matata. I don't know. Akuma, Akuma Matata guys. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know their names. I don't know which is which. It's an okay movie. I like it. It was but, an okay movie, but it's your number one? I'm two. Oh, Hunchback. No. That's pretty good. Pretty good. I like it. But uh, that was, um, yeah, my Disney list. When's Oliver and Company going to be reviewed? Maybe you want to watch it, man. But listen, I think we should take a quick commercial break before we get into the meat and potatoes. I, I wish I had some meat and potatoes right now. Yeah, a lot. We should do that sometime where we pull out meat and potatoes. We'll do that. We'll do that. Before we get into meat and potatoes, and I pull out the meat and potatoes. Yeah, just the woodman. Jesus. Are you all right, Alan? This just, just drives me crazy. What? I'm sick of these outlets. Always on the floor. Every time I try and plug something in, well, you I have to move furniture. I, I strain my back. Why can't outlets be up here? At, no. eye, at eye level. Eye level? Well, what, what are they, like genitals? We have to hide them? Why are we hiding outlets? We are back with the Other Good Podcast. It's story time. We have a big story to tell about a Florida trip. Uh, I think we can throw a little mini updates in there. You have two stories to tell before yeah. that. Uh, you can go first. We saw the Impractical Jokers drive, 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 drive tour for the second time at Foxwoods Resort and Casino in Mashantucket, Connecticut. That was about a month ago now. We did go. We did. It was the same show. Minus a couple segments and a couple bits and very plus tiny. like one. But very, it was it was very, the same show. Tiny. It's the same tour. We we knew that. But it was a good tour. you never pass up another opportunity to be in the very same room as James S. Murray. There's a picture of me on Murray's phone. That's all I'm saying. It's true. It's true. Uh, and then yes, uh, Friday, me and Sal here went to Cheshire, Connecticut, as we spoke before. Let's make it clear here first. You asked me if I would go with you. Yeah. Yeah. No problem? No, just, just clarify. You asked me to go to the Impressive Joker store, buddy. Anyway, I picked up Super Nintendo on Facebook. So, uh, pretty good deal. And it does work. It's over there right now. What'd you get? What kind of games? Yeah, I got Donkey Kong, Aladdin, which I've heard is the best game of all time, uh, Animaniacs, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Which I'm, Shout out to the Turtles. I feel like I have to be a Turtles fan. I met the, the co-creator. Oh, so that is under your TV. You did do some some new decorating, but you didn't give me a little tour yet. I'll give you a tour after. But um, is it is it a WIP still? But that was that. Um, you want to quickly just do a moment of silence, real quick. Yeah, we're gonna do a moment of silence for two great individuals of the Other God Podcast. Like though I don't think they've ever come up. It's like a two quick. <laughs> on the uh, the episode, OJ Simpson and Morgan Spurlock passed away. Now you might be thinking. Who are these individuals? First, if you don't know who OJ is, you might as well turn this podcast off. OJ, Hall of Fame football player, God rest his soul. And Morgan Spurlock got away with it. Uh, was the centerpiece of the documentary Super Size Me that I guess we can say kind of exposed McDonald's and fast food at the time. Not really. But, but like, shout I mean, not really. Shout it outs, did. Shout out to him for wasting two hours of class. Every year. So, thank you for that, Morgan Spurlock. He's an alcoholic. I think he died of cancer. Yeah. I don't know anything else about him other than that documentary. Uh, he had a couple movies that no one watched. And that was it. Mama's House. Mama's House. Thank you. Thank now you. story time. Yeah, story time. So, a little backstory here. Uh, me and Kanzi have been tending to hate each other for the last six months. A little longer than that. Just kind of no when idea. did that start? Realistically, because I don't know when it did. I, I can't go into too much details on the air, but um. Did was there ever beef? Did did the two of you have to talk some things through? Nothing. Relax, Tony. But uh, me and Kanzi have been doing some hangouts. We went. Uh, uh, he introduced me to rock climbing, which is very fun. Uh, any questions about rock climbing? I mean, I can answer now. It's it's fun. It's hard. 
It's really hard. It really hurts your arms. It feels rewarding getting to the top section of the rock. I wouldn't know. Yeah. You should do it. Honestly, you could do it. It's fun. I think, I, I think the two of you are never going to let me go with you, so it doesn't matter. I feel like you could be probably better than me. Continue the story. You get a little less weight, you have more upper arm strength. I feel like you could do pretty good. But um, yeah, no, it was fun. Uh, we, we did some adventures together. But um, That's for sure. The ultimate rib was, let's rib Salvis here. We're going to go to Florida without him. Send a picture. It's going to be a great time. The ori- I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you some backstory here. The original plan was... Kanzi was in a picture of him in Florida, and we were going to hope that you would message me after and be like, Kanzi was in Florida, can you believe this? And then it was the real, I was also there. But instead, Kanzi, on the way there, well, on the way to my house, right after uh, the friendlies in Greenfield, he was like, oh, I got a better idea. Let's pretend we went rock climbing at Hadley, and then send him a picture of us at Hogan. And that's what we did. But let's get into, I'm not going to get too much into this, but we're going to go into the everything we did there. But before we continue, I want to get just a timeline. Let me pull up the Lando report. It used to be known as the sour cream report. Oh yeah. Of when they exposed this grand plan. Oh, you do that. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? I see something I forgot about. Right. Okay, ten fifty-eight a.m. on a Friday, two weeks ago, I get a photo of Thad rock climbing, and then at twelve fifty-five, I don't think much of it, but I'm just like, oh, they're ribbing me. The, well, early early that morning, I noticed Kanzi was up texting me, and I was that's odd because Kanzi gets up at like three p.m. Well, let's back up even further here. I have been anti Kanzi, and I've been anti rock climbing to this guy for a while. So to see that picture, months it, yeah. that 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 got me. I remember going to my sister. You can't believe this. They're rock climbing together. What, they both have a day off. What is this? Well, the back up. Me and Kanzi woke up at four a.m. for a six a.m. flight to Florida to land out. The main goal was Ford's garage, rib salvage, and the rock climbing gym. It's a quick weekend trip. At 12.55, I get a picture of Kanzi standing outside of Hogan's Wrestling Shop on International Drive in Orlando, Florida, which I look at it quick like it could be a Kanzi Photoshop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that could easily be Photoshopped. Mm-hmm. So I don't think much of it until I get a picture. Well, I, I don't, And then I get the pictures of him inside holding things in front of the Hogan statue. We had some multiple this, this, That's when I flipped. Well, here's the thing. As soon as I sent that picture... Of Kanzi in front. I, I was watching my phone. I saw you open it. And I was like, I was like, Kanzi, you opened it. You opened it. And then I was waiting. And then like a minute later goes by. And then I, I see you saved it. So you were staring at that picture for like a minute. I, I did. I, I was, was looking. It live. And then I realized you sent it, not him. Yes. Well, let's back up a little bit. The night before? I don't know. Cause we, so me and Kanzi landed down. First thing we did was Walmart, of course. Pick some uh, essentials. The razors were locked up. There was a picture. They both sent me pictures of them at Walmart separately. <laughs> as if they were... Both sh- doing their like regular shopping. And then Con- was texting me. He's like, "Hey, Dad, which which Walmart are you at?" And the two of them never chat in this chat because they've been fighting for six months. Well, here's something I want to tell you: is that I almost sent a picture of like the ground outside, and I was gonna put as a caption Lakeland Walmart or something. Because it gets stare at you, but it was actually that one. I almost did that. I almost did that. That, that, that would have got me too. That would have got you. But uh, listen, uh, then we went to the Central Rock Climbing in Flor- uh, Orlando, <laughs> right next to an Ollie's, which we didn't go to, but. It was a nice rock climbing gym. I want to shout out. We went in there. There was no no one to help us. We were a little confused. And then my man Manny comes out and he goes, "What's up, guys?" Wait, Manny American Nightmare? Not Manny American Nightmare. This is a Manny and not Manny Rios. This is Manny Central Rock Climbing guy. Super friendly guy. He was basically like, "It's on the house, guys. Just go ahead and have some fun." So Kanzi didn't. Well, he has said waivers. Kanzi's the biggest loser because he pays a hundred dollars a month to go. It's rock true. It's true. true. But me. I, I, I didn't have to pay for a day pass, so I just had some fun rock climbing. I didn't do a lot. It's got a big agenda, but we did a little rock climbing. It was fun. We sent some pictures of this guy. Uh, and then we went over to Mike's Comics and Collectibles. A little comic store nearby, and it uh, wasn't too exciting. But Kanzi did buy a bag. I forgot what the theme was, but it was for a baddie. And then we went over to the Florida Mall. Wait, I've never seen the bag. I forgot what theme it was. It was something. Was it like a Beetlejuice bag? It may have been. Okay, continue. Some sort of movie. It was a movie theme bag. Yeah, just the Florida Mall. You know, we got, went to Carlos Bakery. We went to the Smokehouse, which wasn't that good. A picture of them in front of the Sears. Sears. I'm getting these photos now. Listen, I'm walking around with Kanzi. We go to Sears. No, no, we, I, I show him Crayola World. And Kanzi goes, we walk by all these stores, and this is the store you want to go into? I'm like, Kanzi, it's Crayola World. You don't want to go walk into Crayola World? Did you buy a cream? I almost did. I forgot, kind of. 
You forgot? I was like, in there. I was like, I gotta buy some crayons, and then we left, and I was like, oh shit! I'm, I'm just remembering now. Right now, I'm like, I didn't buy crayons. The thing they sold piece in the shelf. Why do you got crayons? Oh, they're from Crayon World, dude. Orlando, Florida Mall. Oh, well, you can always go back. Yeah. Well, that's the plan. Continue. And then we're like, okay, let's do let's do the beast shop. So we went to the Hogan's beast shop. We sent some pictures. And at this point, I felt bad for this guy a little bit in my mind. So I got him a little Hogan plush. I should have brought it for the photo. You should have. Thank you. Send me a picture later. And then uh, me and Kanzi, this guy's freaking out. Liz is, Liz is like trying to call me for the rest of the night. Like, like yeah, listen to this guy. Yeah, listen to this guy. Well, well, let's not get that far Just yet. We're not, we're not that timeline. Yeah, yet. I know. But um, me and Kanzi, we head over to McDonald's number mansion number three, the Orlando McDonald's. We got a pizza. It's a nice place. We used the bathroom there. Kanzi wanted a picture with uh, Mac tonight. I don't think I saw that. Let's be clear. At this time, it's now like one, two o'clock, and I am I am booking a flight that night to go see them, but they don't know about it. And then my sister is trying to contact you guys to confirm any sort of info of like That's how long you're there. To call us. Or okay, I don't think I saw that because Kanzi had texted my sister like two months earlier asking if she could watch the the cats on that day. So you're trying to get some information. I, I wanted. That's why. I See, wanted to confirm that thing. you guys. Wait, I wanted to confirm you guys weren't flying back that night. Something crazy like that, and then I get there and I'm by myself. Exactly. The thing with your sister is always an alternative motive. <laughs> Because I, I didn't answer her calls. But Kanzi might have given her some info. I may have auditioned. No, he, no, but like if anything, he would give more info than you would. Well, here's the thing. When we were originally planning this rip, Kanzi was like, Kanzi was really going to tell Liz a little more. And I was like, don't tell her anything because you guys talk. And, and, and I, <laughs> I, she's my sister. I've learned that the hard way. Like the, the, You guys will be like, oh, we don't know. But I know you guys tell each other everything. <laughs> so I, I specifically told Kanzi, do not tell Liz anything. But back to, um, yeah, I never answered her calls. But she like sent me a voice message saying, "Oh, we gotta listen to Mike right now. He's he's freaking I, out." I was freaking out in a way. It's like I think I have to do this in my head. This is how sick we are that we have to out rib each other. I the only way I can out rib them is to show up. There's no other. There's no other rib I can do. Okay, I have, we'll get to that. We'll I have to be that. on the de- defense the rest of the time. We we'll can talk about the rest of the night before while you're catching flights. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, by the way, the picture. Of- Ryan showed up to your house soon with a photo yes. album of all our adventures. Half hour before I leave. <laughs> That's it's Ryan. a photo album of the last six months of him and Kanzi. Shouts Big Justice. Anyway, shouts to the two ninety nine or less store. Kanzi really wanted to go to the store, and it was a good time. He what bought, was there? <laughs> he bought stitch sunglasses that he wore the rest of the... Oh, he also had a Disney gay pride hat on. It, it didn't look too good with us together, that's all I'm going to say. Good image. And um, what did I buy there? I bought a postcard I was going to send to you. And the, and the cashier asked me if I knew Mickey Mouse's real name, which I still forgot, but whatever. Did you fact check that? No. Okay, just curious. Uh, so we went to the Holiday Inn. There wasn't room wasn't ready yet. So we went to the Titanic Museum, which was right in front of it. Interesting place. They had some you know, actual Titanic stuff there. Um, they give you a card in the beginning. And at the end, they tell you if you, you were a survivor or not. Me and Kanzi did both die. Oh, I have the card. Let me get the card. Sipping on some Tropicana. Peachy Pineapple Paradise. I was actually a famous person on the Titanic. I was Mr. Thomas Andrews Jr., and I was one of the designers of the Titanic or something like that. I, I forgot, but there was like st- there was like walls of him. Anyway, I died. And then uh, in the beginning, they also had a photo op where you can recreate the picture of from the movie. And of course, me and Kanzi had to hop in on that for fifty dollars. That was fifty dollars. <laughs> it, it was pretty pricey, but it's had, worth it. Got a picture of us on the Titanic. Now, Fatty Bear, how do you rate that Titanic? The what they call it? artifactual exhibit or ex- it was pretty good. They had like actual like they have a big thing of ice in there you could touch some recreations. Kanzi told me he really didn't like it. He, he Kanzi didn't like it, but I. It's a like photo op museum. Is it kind of like Ripley's? Where I went as a kid, but it, it, it's like Ripley's where it's things that look like artifacts but not really artifacts. No, they had actual artifacts, but but not a lot. Yeah, they, they had a decent amount. Okay, but it's a lot of photo op. Kanzi didn't like. It. Yeah, it's mostly photo. I, it's, it's not a museum. I said if I went by myself. I think I don't think I would have liked it, but with Kanzi made the experience way better. Uh, they had like a coal that was like seven hundred thousand dollars, and Kanzi was trying to haggle it with the cashier. He couldn't rib. He can rib. No, no, the cashier guy couldn't. Oh, rib. oh Kanzi can rib. Kanzi was ribbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he wouldn't sell. Kanzi was like, "Can I get? He said, we do this for half price or something." I um, uh, went to Ford's Garage. Shouts to the waitress there. Forgot her name. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but she was a baddie. Uh, we went to the Wizard place. Always have to go to the Wizard in Kissimmee. And we went to Old Town after that. Slash fun spot. It's a good time. At this point, I'm at the airport. Lost some rocks. 
Um, yeah, and I have a big capture, Mike Invades. So I woke up to multiple missed calls from Salvas at 1 in the morning. Whatever. I think we went to bed literally like an hour before that. Yeah, that's when you guys start, stopped answering yeah. text then, messages. Um, this guy calls me in the elevator. Well, first off... Wait, wait, can I can I get my experience before then? Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead, man. I forgot about you. My flight got delayed twice. I should have arrived at like 11, 11.30 p.m. I ended up arriving at a 1 a.m. So if I had arrived then, I would have gotten you guys. But my biggest worry was that you guys weren't going to pick up the phone. I didn't know what I was going to do. But I arrived, and I arrived there without a return flight still. Like I said, we almost went to the Kennedy Space Center that day. I had no plan of, of what I was going to do to get off the plane. Then I got off the plane. They weren't answering the phone, so I said, I have to get a hotel because it's now it's almost 2 a.m. I booked a hotel on a phone. I don't know where it was in relation to anything, but it was near the hotel uh, airport. I got an Uber, $37 to go nine minutes. It was humid. It was hot. The airport was empty. Got in the hotel. I slept for like three hours. And then I knew that I had to wake up just in case these two... We're going to do something crazy. I had to meet them before then. So I woke up at 6, took a shower, got you, an you, Uber. You, you called us as we were in the elevator leaving. Um, he called Kanzi twice, and like Kanzi didn't answer it, and I was like, I'll entertain him. But I wanted to be somewhere near you guys. I knew you guys were at Interna- International Drive somewhere. So I, I took the that was a good guess. Uber to Icon Park. And Wait, then did we say we were in? How did you know we were there? He sent the picture, and I knew it was International Drive. From the hotel, yeah. yeah. So I got there, and then I just so happened to be in front of Ripley's when I called you guys, and you're like, oh, you're not, you're not real. You're not real. I hung up, well, and I was video looking called at the you. video. It was low quality, which helped <laughs> with it. I thought you were, like, showing me, like, a POV, POV of someone walking down into an actual drive, and I was, showed you. And I, I was, was ready to rip, stitch shirt and all. These two crews up, I'm playing Hungry Like the Wolf. And listen, I think that leads to maybe the best, one of the best days of my life, the best rib fest. You guys got ribbed. It was a good day. It, was, it went beyond ribs. We didn't rib. It, it was, was a rib, but we didn't rib all. We, we didn't ha- harass each other like we normally do. So where do, where do we go first? Well, of course. Well, me and Kanzi had a plan. We were originally going to go to Krispy Kreme and the Celebration 7-Eleven hopes that we meet the legendary Adam LeWu there. Shout out to Adam LeWu. We know you're listening, man. We know you're listening, man. Shout out to Adam. Well, so we went to Krispy Kreme, had a good donut. 7-Eleven. Kanzi had the Kit Kat donut. Look good. Uh, and in the 7-Eleven, Kanzi stuck wait, his... Wait, wait. To our fans... I just want to clarify that Thad told me... I was offended. He was very vulnerable the other day. He goes, I got to tell you this. I'd rather not have a warm donut for Krispy Kreme. He wants a, a chilled donut. Not chill, but room temperature. I, I'll, I'll he doesn't it. want it hot off the... Off the I didn't like it. I, I thought... The rails. I don't know. I don't, I don't really like hot dessert. Is this me? Okay, I'll remember that. Continue. Yeah. You uh, had a cold dessert later in the day? I did. Two. Oh, I forgot. I had key lime pie at Ford's. God damn. Also, Kanzi keeps inviting me. He goes, oh, you're invited to dinner. You're invited to dinner. You're welcome to come to Ford's garage with us. Oh, you love that guy. So uh, we went to 7-Eleven. Kanzi stuck his uh, his doggies into the crocodile-infested water. Alligator invested water of the pond behind 7-Eleven. Uh, after that, we went to the... Wait, wait, wait. He was driving. Is that true? He was driving. <laughs> Maybe some of the most questionable driving I've ever experienced in my life. But uh... I haven't even been there for... With these two for a half hour, 40 minutes, and Thad's already like, you got to drive. I can't do this. You, you got to drive him. You got to get the keys. He's wiping his feet because he was in gator-infested waters. And I grabbed the keys. I kind of get in the back seat. But we went to the flea market we went to before with the alligator show and the circus. Walked around, had a good tap. Saw the gators. Saw the gators. Uh, I took a quick picture at the local Concentra in Lakeland, Florida. Shout out to Concentra. And we went to the Lakeland Antique Mall. We did a quick look around. I don't think any... You bought something. You bought two things, didn't you? You bought the Tangled Cup. Yeah. Did I buy something else? I think you may have. I think that was it. I thought you bought something else, but yeah. I didn't, I didn't say anything no, that was my it. fancy, though. It's cool just to walk around. It's a good place. Of course, you had to go to Super Target. And then... I'm so glad I I made it down there for this. Fred's Market. Was it? No. Yeah. Not, uh, Fred's Market. Just Fred's Market? It's a restaurant. <sighs> buffet. Buffet. Great Unreal buffet. Unreal again. I love it, man. It's so good. And this Fred's visit was important because Kanzi dropped some lore that we've never heard him mention before. Kanzi grew up with two separate black families as a child. And one of those families, he would, they would go to a buffet every weekend. He doesn't know where or what he had, but he knows that he ate a buffet every, like, Sunday. So, shout out to Kanzi. I, I like the waitress that told him he couldn't wear the hat inside. Remember that? Oh, yeah, he had a... What was the hat? He had a... 
The Krispy Kreme hat. It's a Krispy Kreme. <laughs> She was ripping. She was ripping. <laughs> he was ripping. Oh. You asked about the mangoes. They still don't have mangoes. No mangoes yet. Maybe one day. Someone put pepper juice in my iced tea. It was disgusting. Hot pepper juice. I don't know. I took a picture of it, but I didn't. I don't know why I didn't think of a video. <laughs> it was so funny. Uh, then you drank it. Well, that's now you're curious. I was curious. It was bad. Uh, then we went to uh, Publix to look, look around, and then we went to Congo Mini Golf in Kissimmee. The cashier there, he couldn't rib. But we were ribbing. We were playing with the balls. Kanzi's Con- Con- still chucking balls. Kanzi's threw a ball in the river and then he's climbing the fence to get the ball. Also, this whole time, Kanzi's doing this in 90 degree weather. A humid 90 degree Very summer, hot, hot, hot day in Florida. Wait, well, I guess it's not summer. But wearing jeans and a black t shirt. <laughs> uh, good. After that, we went to Target again and we had a quick snack at Del Taco. Ah, oh, I forgot about the Del Taco, man. It was good. It was good. It man. was good. Good Del Taco. Had a couple tacos. And then we decided to rib at Disney Springs for the rest of the, kind of the, rest of the evening. Kanzi bought a Mexican Coke at Publix. <laughs> Didn't have a bottle opener, so he is walking around for a couple hours trying to figure out how he's going to drink it, and then decides he's going to bring the Coke with him to Del Taco, hit the, hit the side of the Coke bottle on a curb in the parking lot, and then drink it from there, and he, he drank glass. He bought the Mexican Coke. It was sitting in the hot, humid car. <laughs> it's like he, two hours. <laughs> he decides to drink it. Oh, okay. Anyway, Disney Springs, we went to the Rainforest Cafe, and I want to give a big shout out here to Marcus, our waiter. Marcus, we know you listen, man. He could rib. It was a great Rainforest Cafe. I'm going to say, if someone's listening, I don't know who they are, but I had a better Rainforest Cafe experience with these guys than you. That's all I'm going to say. I wonder why. But we had a good time. We were there for a while. There for a while. We had two hurricanes. We got dessert. Food, we got burgers. I had fries. Pies. You, you had the tribal cheesecake. I had the tribal cheesecake, which I found out later was thirteen dollars yeah. a slice. Thirteen ninety nine was both a slice of a che- individually a slice of the cheesecake and the key lime pie. I got, I got pretty hammered. Um, and then oh, it was a good time. There's a lot of we had a lot of fun at the Rainforest yeah. Cafe. And then we went bar hopping to International Drive. We went to Twin Peaks, and I want to give a big shout out to Maria, our Brazilian friend, Brazilian model. She was a waitress, excellent lady. I had two bourbon, blackberry bourbons, I had two of them. Um, it was a good time. We, you we had a shot of something too, and a shot of something. We were ribbing. Kanzi, Kanzi was drinking too. Yeah, we we just had beers. Kanzi said he had to keep up with me. That wasn't even that great. <laughs> they said that the beer there kept. There were signs in the glass. The pint glass says. They keep the beer at 29 degrees, yeah. which is probably what it should be. But uh, it, it was kind of like posted everywhere. Mm-hmm. So I guess that's the theme of uh, Twin Peaks. We didn't eat, but we were we were getting ourselves ready for the main event of that day. Yes. The Waffle House. Elder God Waffle House. But we're not there yet. Also, we did see Stitch at Disney Springs. Shout out to Stitch and Marie the Cat. Yeah, so then we, after a quick watch on International Drive, we went to the Icon Park. Icon Park, am I Boston? Icon Park. We finally landed at today's Elder God Waffle House. <sighs> I was craving it so much. Shout out to Z. Yep, Z the waitress. It was it was popping. Listen, that Waffle House, me being how like how much rated. milk I've had, that Waffle House was so good. And they they like my best meal that whole trip. I saved my rest for the breakfast the next morning. You did excellent waffle. I had a lot of food. He, he didn't did. eat his grits though. Big guy. And then at um, that point, it's like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Yeah. Kanji thought he lost his phone. I was passed out. You were not passed out. I was about to be passed out. I, I had to sleep. <laughs> oh, also, part of this rib is, I don't know if anybody cares about any of this, but we put the heat on to 90. You and I did. And then Kanji and I left, and you sat there in the heat until you realized, oh, shit, the heat is on. It was, it was like 15 minutes. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, I should probably turn this off. <laughs> yeah, because you went to go look for your wallet, which was under the seat. His phone. His phone was under the seat. Dumbass. I love guns. I love guns. We slept for like two hours, maybe. Yeah, we went to Walmart in the morning, and went to the flea markets, and we went to the Big Orange, and went to another Walmart, and we went to Walgreens. <laughs> to find a Kiss Me shirt. If anyone has a Kiss Me shirt, drop a comment. I have to spec order some couple shirts. But uh, we landed it for lunch. Where did we go? Is Kanzi really wanted to go here? I <laughs> have also, a letdown. I also, I, me and Kanzi loved it. I did. CC's Pizza Buffet. Shouts to Jose. Disappointing, but the food was okay. At most. And went to Dollar Tree, Publix, 7-Eleven, and then back to Ludlow. 
Debbie picked this up. That was a dead. No, it was a fun tap. It wasn't a big tap. It was a rib fest, but it's what we needed. It was a good time. And so I want to say it's not about what you do, it's about who you do it with. And that was a great weekend. We were fist bumping for 24 hours. We have new fist pumps. We came up with new ones on the spot. And then uh, we, um, I'm glad we went. Oh, I'm glad you came because we were originally going to plan a trip to Lando for this coming October. And we realized we're going to go somewhere else. We did most of what we were going to do. So there might be a pod does <coughs> somewhere very different in the fall. We will be going south. Let's leave it as that. Yeah. We want to go somewhere nice and warm. Well, Waffle House is the elder god. What can we say about Waffle House? It's a great establishment. Excellent food. Late night vibes. Open 24-7. I, I think we need one up here. Better than Denny's. And as of this moment, May 27th, 2024, 20, there's 1,973 locations of Waffle House. And sadly, we are still four hours away from one. The um, creator of the fighting game Tekken is pretty active on Twitter. And you know, he loves to answer like questions he gets from fans. And someone's asking, hey, when are you guys going to add a Waffle House stage to Tekken? This is a Japanese fighting game, by the way. And then the creator conversed with him. He's like, Please explain to me the obsession with Waffle House, please. And he had a bunch of comics explaining Waffle House where all the fights happen. It's where the good food is. You always have to sign great there. It's and, always popping. And he said, he said, if we can get permission, he can make it happen. So the next tech and they I'll play have it. I'll play it. a Waffle House stage. But, um. Kind of, we wish you were here. That kind of but also, been Ryan there. was kind of there in spirit. We saw a lot of Ryan. Yeah, he was there everywhere. Crazy little guy. He's he spinning water out of He's he's a little feisty. Yeah. Love you, Ryan. Yeah. He also, Ryan, he helped me in the boss fight against um, somebody yesterday. Duran Duran, Hungry Like the Wolf. He helped me in the fight against Hades yesterday. Kingdom Hearts. Oh, I did see that. Yeah, so thanks, Ryan, helping me fight out Hades. You, the man. You, the man, Ryan. Thank you for that uh, look in the screen. And the ukulele. But, uh, yeah, I think we're going to end things off there. Comment below your favorite Waffle House memory. Quish, Shout out quick, quick Hot party. Sauce Boy. We're going to get back into it next episode. Hope you guys can be See there. See everybody soon. Nice seeing you, Thaddy Bear. Yeah. I'll catch you at the parade. <laughs>